smoked dox heart. It's what's for dinner. Me too. Shut up. Uh -uh. Hey, Keith Stanball, School Woodler and Common Sense, hanging out with a bud of mine from the job site. We're way up here in upstate New York. Yankee Land. I didn't say that word. Right we're, uh, we're cooking an old favorite. We're doing up a uh, ox heart. We're smoking it uh, with a little bit of hickory and such, and I'll show you that here shortly. Um, Meanwhile, we're doing that, doing a little bit of bread with a little olive oil and salt and pepper. Good stuff. Anyways, we'll chat with you a little bit. I'll show you that, uh, that ox heart. All right. Okay, we are done with that there said heart, and it is about smoke to death. We'll cut it open and see how it looks. Okay, let's take a look at this here heart, see how it cuts up. Okay, well, I did the same thing I've done in the past. Took it, cut it majority of the fat off it, marinated it in, um, in uh, Worcestershire and Crystal's hot sauce. And this one I cooked for about an hour and a half, may have overcooked a little bit to my taste. But as you can see, that's just fine, good lean meat, not a bit of marbling in there. It really don't get much better than that. So uh, once again, you all think about heart. An expense of this one here is five bucks at a local butcher shop, which butcher shops tend to be more expensive, but you get better cuts. Folks up here are cutting this up, cooking it, and feeding it to their dogs because they ain't got no damn common sense. Hence, school of wood lore and common sense. Anyways, good meat, best meat, best cut of meat for the hacienda. Cheap price, good vittles. Dip a little bit of uh, it's kind of a white. Potato they got up here with some carrots. Threw some apple in there, Vidalia onion. Let that sit and simmer with some carrots. Let that sit and simmer there for about an hour. It's turned out real good. Once again. This is mushroom ketchup from Gaz Townsend and Son. Angel, your check should be due about 2.30 next week. <laughs> Thank you. 